Uh, all right, so we've got a really interesting topic of conversation right now. One in five, one in five Canadians, right? So we're That's looking right. at seven million Canadians will experience a mental health issue this year. Right. Uh, joining us to talk about it, Jeff Moat, president of the Partners for Mental Health. Great to have you here on the Thank show. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Some of these statistics I thought were incredibly scary. 500,000 Canadians can be absent from work for psychiatric reasons on any given day. That's right. It's quite profound, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. I love the, the wording of this campaign because <laughs> we've definitely all felt it. And you're just saying, you know what, I just don't feel like myself yes. today. Well, that's exactly right. And that's precisely why we designed the campaign because everyone's had a day where they've not felt quite like themselves. We've woken up feeling stressed, anxious, and, and dealing with those feelings is part of dealing with your mental health. And if you've experienced that, imagine what it must be like to experience that every single day, day in, day out, at a much greater intensity and then face the discrimination and stigma that exists around the illness. So what, oh, all right, so purpose of the campaign, I know we have mm -hmm. lots of people that come in and they're looking for fundraising, sure. they're looking for research. Yeah. What is the idea behind yeah. this? This is not a fundraising campaign. This is a public mobilization campaign. This is about mobilizing tens of thousands of Canadians to take a pledge of support for mental health by visiting notmyselftoday.ca. And we feel that it's only through the mobilization of thousands of Canadians will we put pressure on the system so that our elected officials will listen to voters and make the kind of changes that we need to see in the system. How does the site work? Because, you know, we came on and yes. you, see, you, you see faces, faces That's in the crowd right. that you'd likely see every day. Yeah, and some, some incredible stats here. One in five Canadians, you mentioned that. One in three in the workplace disability claims are related to mental illness. And so what we're asking Canadians to do is to visit this website, notmyselftoday.ca. And once you go through these initial screens, uh, you'll be taken to... Um, a, a very simple pledge form uh, and this pledge form basically asks for your first name, your last name, your email and your postal code and basically what we're saying is we like people to live the pledge and they can do so in one of the following ways. It's about paying attention to your own mental health. I think it starts with the individual, supporting a loved one or a friend or a coworker uh, who has a mental health issue or illness. Uh, challenge the negative stereotypes. Contact your elected officials to say that things need to change in the mental health system. You can volunteer your time. If you want to donate money, you can do that as well. And once you press submit, um, you've become you've a partner. You've taken the pledge. Now, a lot of people say, though, it's not actually the illness itself that becomes an issue. It's the stigma. Mm -hmm associated with it. So how on this, you know, in the pledge, it's, it's supporting a loyal one or, you mm -hmm. know, supporting people mm -hmm. is being able to dis discuss it with them to say, listen, I recognize mm -hmm. something. You're not yourself today. You haven't that's been yourself right. for a while. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I think that's precisely what we need to do is we need to, to su support the people that we know that perhaps are, are experiencing mental health illness, uh, to challenge those stereotypes. And you know, we really feel that it starts with the individual because so many times when we wake up and we're not feeling quite 100%, we tend to ignore it. We don't pay any attention to it. So we feel this is something that we need to acknowledge at the individual level. And then if, if we can start to empathize with others that perhaps are feeling that way. And so we can start to lend their su uh, your support to them and uh, really help them out. How many people I mean in, in order for it to make it you know to have an effect yeah we need a lot of people to take this we pledge. really do yeah I mean nothing like this has been done in this country ever before so this is groundbreaking I mean we liken this to what breast cancer had done mm -hmm. 30 years ago and that's ultimately what we want to see breast cancer 30 years ago was the C word you couldn't even use the word breast in media it was considered offensive we ultimately want to have the same kind of impact that that cause did in the mental health space so we need literally tens of thousands of Canadians because this has never been done it's hard to to gauge you know how many will actually get but that's the kind of numbers that we'll need but we have done it before with other campaigns and so we trust in Canadians that we can do it again absolutely okay right. uh, take the pledge uh, the information not myself today .ca, not myself today .ca. if you can take the time today to log on and to make the pledge and to help make a difference uh, especially when you consider seven million Canadians right now experiencing mental health issues great to meet you thanks Thank so you much very much.